Hey everybody, Shadow Ninja here, and welcome back to Rage Quit. I apologize for my absence during the last couple of days. I unfortunately got a little sick and didn't want to record such an important video for this channel with a nasally ass voice. But I'm here now, and we are going to be covering Star Wars Episode 8, The Last Jedi. I also figured since so many people felt so strongly about this movie, whether it be positive or negative, that I would kind of just step back and wait for the smoke to clear so I could come up with a completely unbiased and clean review for this movie. Keep in mind, there will be no spoilers in this review in case you have not seen it, but for those who have, I will be making a spoiler-filled video discussing the movie further in depth. Now the question that must be answered first and foremost is, is the movie good, and is it worth a watch? Honestly, this is all opinion-based, and as I've said many times before when I was covering Battlefront 2, that I am a lifelong fan of all the trilogies. I mean, I grew up with the prequels, and even saw that crappy animated Clone Wars movie in theaters when I was like 13 or so. But to answer the question, I think the movie is good, and it was definitely worth the watch for me. Another question that has been asked is, is it better than Empire Strikes Back? I've noticed various claims that The Last Jedi is on that tier of great Star Wars movies. The answer is no. It isn't better in my opinion. Again, this is only my opinion, because you can't beat the authenticity and the classical feel the original movies had. The Empire Strikes Back had amazing pacing, great story, awesome practical effects that put you in front of Vader and Luke fighting a Bespin and you felt the emotion and energy as if you were in the room with them. Plus, Empire had the best shock and reveal hands down and it is considered one of the best moments in cinema history. This movie is unfortunately not that. I'm gonna just say, as the franchise's longest movie, it kinda dragged at certain points. There were definitely moments that would have had no negative effect in the movie if they weren't there, certain relationships felt a little rushed, and the way the director chose to handle certain things that audiences held importance to, he basically washed those things away, and it kinda hurt the movie. Of course, the acting was phenomenal, the special effects were top notch, and the battle scenes felt intense, but it kind of ends there. There were kind of unnecessary jokes thrown in, which I personally didn't mind, but they kinda broke the tension in a lot of scenes. I still laughed, but that didn't mean it fit right. I think switching directors and having opposing visions within a trilogy hurt The Last Jedi immensely. There were certain aspects from The Force Awakens that just weren't there in The Last Jedi. It basically felt like The Force Awakens had a very light-hearted tone, and it definitely reintroduced the franchise to the newest generation by keeping the same kind of platform as the original movies. But the director for The Last Jedi had different ideas, and instead of playing it safe and sticking to a story we all know, he flipped the script, quite literally, and threw something completely new at us. Now, I am not closed-minded. I liked a lot of the things in this movie, but I disliked other things equally. I am completely fine with change. Star Wars is a big universe. Not all characters are the same or stay the same throughout decades of time. The story needs to change sometime, but what the director did with the tools he had, he definitely dropped the ball in some aspects. Throughout the movie, I was thinking to myself, what the hell? Why did that happen? Or, I would have done this differently. But you see, I'm not a professional writer. I'm not a director. I wouldn't be able to make a completely new story with new characters and basically a new franchise that matured from the original stuff. And at the end of the day, the movie was made, the director experimented, and definitely succeeded in some places. He made a Star Wars movie like nobody has seen before, and in my opinion, that keeps people interested. It certainly kept me on the edge of my seat because once you think the movie is going in one direction, they pull the wool from your eyes and you get something you didn't expect. The same kind of story, good guy fights bad guy, bad guy has a powerful boss, that boss is defeated by good guy. Bad guy becomes good again. That's a classic story that all Star Wars fans should respect, but this is the third trilogy from this franchise. Difference is not equivalent to failure. It simply opens up new routes for Star Wars to go, and honestly, I'm excited to see Episode 9. Obviously, the director won't be the one from this movie, and I've been told that there's a possibility J.J. Abrams will be coming back for it. I'm excited for how they cater to this new story, and to all the haters saying that this movie ruined their childhood, or it's the worst Star Wars movie ever, you obviously haven't seen the Star Wars Holiday Special. At the end of the day, it's just a movie, and a good one in my opinion, which is why I'm giving Star Wars The Last Jedi a high 6 or even a 7 out of 10. Sure, it's got its problems, but every movie does. It kept me on my toes and taught me that what I expect is not always what will be reality. As said before, the spoiler-filled video will be released for anyone who has already seen the movie. Comment down what you thought of the movie, and by all means, if you didn't enjoy it, you have every right to. It's just an opinion. Subscribe for more content, and I will see you guys on the next one. See you later!